I want to talk specifically about what Walls is bringing to this ticket because we we talked about how he wasn't well known. He didn't really have that national profile. He's from the Midwest, but he's from a state that is blue already. He has a very progressive record. What do you think he brings to this ticket that's someone that Governor Josh Shapiro didn't? First of all, we don't really know all the reasons that Shapiro wasn't picked. We know one of them was that he was pro-Israel, and it may be, uh, and in fact, some CNN commentators who are not friendly to the Republicans have said that there was just outright anti-Semitism against him. Uh, But there were also issues related uh, to to his role as a prosecutor, and there were rumors about sexual harassment issues. I don't know if those involved him or, you know, uh, not treating seriously other people in his office or something like that. I just don't know. So we don't know all the underlying issues there. I would be surprised if the media does any deep dive into why that happened. But I can tell you, I think that a number of Jewish Americans do think that there was, uh, that there's a rising element of anti-Semitism that goes beyond anti-Israel within the Democratic Party, and this is new. This is absolutely new. It it just hasn't existed on the left, other than in 50 years ago, Jews not being allowed into elite country clubs or or quotas at universities but the left was generally against that and this is something new so what does waltz bring i think he brings folksiness and uh, that's on the positive side on the negative side i think he brings a record which like so many uh, progressive governors and so many progressive Uh, mayors uh, is just subject to huge amounts of criticism because the outcomes aren't very good. I mean, Gavin Newsom had nice hair and presents himself very well, but California is a disaster. And um, it's pretty hard to turn California into a disaster, but he's managed. And uh, so I would say that there's a lot of that in Minnesota. Minnesota is not the state that a lot of us used to love 50 years ago. Low crime, a lot of civic activity and so forth. There's high crime when the city was essentially burned down after George Floyd. What happened? All the people, almost all the people who were arrested were let go. And by the way, any who needed bail, Kamala Harris advocated putting up the bail for them. So they're going to be subject to a lot of that criticism. And uh, remember, it's a sanctuary state at a time when people are sort of sick and tired of that virtue signaling. Uh, In fact, all the virtue signaling was done when it was costless, when people thought, oh, I can just wave that flag. Um, But uh, as soon as people started flooding in, they said, well, wait a minute, we can't pay for the schools. We can't pay for the housing for people who don't have homes and so forth. So you're going to have a lot of that coming at uh, both Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. Having said all that, I don't think normally uh, the vice presidential candidates make much of a difference.